So in our last session, we covered till you know uh, currency conversion. So today, topic which we are going to consider is creating structures. Okay. So how to create a structure? What is the use of structure and how to create structures in Bex query in front end? So first of all, we let, need to know what is the use of structure. Then we can go to technical details how to create a structure. Hmm? So no, 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 no. what is the use of structure, right? Hmm. So we have a composite provider like this in our backend. Okay, for our example data, we created a composite provider and we built a report on top of it. Okay, so now if I created this report with the Calmont field and material in Calmont, let's keep Calmont only save. So I created a query on top of my composite provider on the rows I have Calmont on the quantity and amount you know are on the key figure section. So when I try to execute this query from analysis office, so how will be my you know output? So when I go here, uh, give here you know 12 months. Uh, let's give till 12 months. Okay. I don't know how much data I have in the back end. If I have I have data for 2022. I am giving January till December and clicking on OK. So now what happened? When I click on like this, I have data only till July. So my July data information is coming here. Okay. So I am getting star here because of multiple currencies. That is a different story. Hmm? So now, as of now, in my composite provider, I have data for the first seven months. So system is showing this month information till seven July. But what happened to you know other months? August, September, October, November, December. Those are not coming. Why those months are not coming here? Because there is no transactional data for those months. So system not showing this output. For example, later point, if uh, if there are some transactions came for August, then one more row will be inserted into my query. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this structure. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to change the prompt, not structure, change the prompt value from January to March. Let's say like this, click on OK. So now how many rows it is occupying my particular report is now coming in this much, you know, this much is my area it is occupying. Now here on the seventh row, I am going and I am trying to execute my report one more time. So if it's a fresh copy, clicking on OK. So now from one to five, I have one report. This is a separate report and seven to 11, I have a separate report. Okay. Now, yeah, in a sheet, I can add multiple reports in this way. So what system generally what users do, if user want to compare two years output, so on the first report, he may execute it for 2021. On the second report, he may execute it for 2022 and he can compare the reports. Simply what he can do, uh, you know, maybe this, uh, <coughs> it's a dummy example. Okay. So what he will do, if he wants to understand the difference between, let's say this is for 2021 data and let's say this is 2022 data. Now, if he wants to understand the difference between the current year and last year in the Excel sheet, he is having an option to subtract this from this one because if this is an Excel sheet, you know, no, this is an Excel sheet. It supports, you know, Excel functionalities like, you know, applying formula on the columns. Okay. So like this later one month happened. Then what happens when he execute the report? Uh, there is a chance the number of rows may increase if if the for example let's uh, assume the data set in the back end is there till March when June April came then the data record will be inserted one more row will come here and it will also show, show some data after May then it will try to add one more column here then what happens simply I will go here I will change my prompt of the data source till June if I change it, what is happening? Then the second report is stopping the first report output because this particular row has already occupied with some other data. System can't, you know, print the first report output into this particular seventh row. Okay. So this is happening by because earlier this is having three rows only because based upon the selection, the number of rows of this particular report got changed based upon my selection. But users will have sometimes a requirement 
they want to fix the layout of the report always to one fixed format. It means whatever selection they provide to the, uh, to the query, the output must be the same number of rows and columns. Initially, when I executed it for March, it came for, you know, within this, this range. When I changed my data set, uh, means a selection, then it got extended to the further cells, correct? So this kind of behavior user doesn't expect. Means it's a requirement, okay? Doesn't expect means uh, it is not wrong. User may, may, you know, may have a requirement at any point of time, my output must not change. Whatever selection I give, it must occupy only this much of range of data, you know, data set only. So if this is kind of requirement, then what we do in these cases, we go for, you know, structures. So structures will fix the format of the output to one, you know, one, one format. I will show you now. Uh, quickly um, okay let's uh, you know, learn it and then we can get to know so how to create structure so I hope you understand now what is the need of structure in order to fix my output format into one you know particular format for any selection my output must not change okay even though if I give January to December my output must come only on these rows if I give from January to March also my output must come these many rows so if your requirement is in such case, then you go for structure creation. So how to create structures? So let me remove from this rows. We can create structure at rows or key figures, column section, anything, anywhere we can create structure. But in a report, we can max create two structures only. Whenever you create, you know, whenever you bring columns like key figures into your rows or columns, system will create automatically one structure. So this key figures is already a structure. Okay. Now it means you have an option to create only one more structure in your query. So on the row section, now I am going to create a new structure, new structure. So when you create a structure, you have an option to provide technical name. If you provide the technical name, then it becomes global structure. If you don't provide technical name, then it acts as a local structure, just like RKF and CKF. So we learned RKF and CKF in the earlier sessions. So when you create the RKF CKF locally to the key figures, then it is local. But whenever you started providing technical name, then automatically it turns into a global, you know, RKF and CKF, which can be consumed in any other report created on top of the same composite provider. In the similar way, structures also. If you create a structure with a technical name, then it is a global structure which can be consumed in other reports also created on top of the same composite provider. Um, so I created one structure here, but as of now, nothing. My design is still empty. Now once the structure came here, right click on the structure, go to new selection. Okay. On the new selection, I am going to add a characteristic called Calvin into my selection details. So, you know, right, selection is nothing but like a RKF, but here we don't use key figure. So, I am restricting my cal month with January data, 01.2022. Okay, I will explain you what I am trying to do here. Similarly, uh, okay, I want to change my description to Jan. Similarly, uh, right click here, so Jan 2022. Because why I given Jan 2022? Because in the definition of the selection, I hard coded this cal month to January 2022. It's clearly 2022 only. Data only comes into picture. Okay. Now I am adding one more selection to my structure. Okay. Here also what I am going to do, I am going to bring calendar month. Okay. And now this time I will restrict this with February value. Okay. Feb 2022. Click on OK. Now, so I am going to change this to, yeah, let, let it be like this. I don't want to waste your time. Mm, fair. Similarly, I am going to add one more structure for selection here and then same cal month. So what I am getting at the end uh, by doing in this way, uh, you will get to know just a few minutes. Ready? OK. Click on OK. So now January, March, February, March. So three items, three selections I added to my structure. Okay. Now I'm clicking on save button. 
So this particular selections what I added just like you know restricted key figures but not key figure restricted fields okay now if I try to execute my report now here I will take new sheet I will go to my you know analysis insert source select my query now I am giving my selection till January to December and you know already my query is having data January to July but I am giving my selection till December and clicking on OK. So it must be actually when I give till December since my backend is having data till July it must bring data till July but you see I got only three rows even though my selection is more than this month I am getting only three months information here on my structure. Why because I created a structure in this way. So while creating the structure, I added only three rows here. It means at any point of time, my report output doesn't extend more than three rows. Okay. And on the first row, I restricted the data till only January month. On second row, it's February month. So what happening here? Um, you know, on this particular cell, this particular cell, I will get only data where the month is January. Okay. Now just to make you know uh, more clear what I will do is I will create a new selection and add cal month and I restrict this cal month sorry restrict this teeth I can restrict with this more months also not always singles more also I can give cal month. Now let me change this, uh, you know, info text of this one to Jan plus Feb. Jan. And Feb. Okay. Saving this one. And now try to execute my query one more time. Here. So now I added one more extra row to my structure so now I will get now four rows you see Jan and Feb now this Jan and Feb I say I for this cell what was the definition I given any data coming in this row only when the month is either Jan or month February so it means if you sum up the above Jan and Feb information which is 960 which is equal to here okay so it means this row is completely restricted with only January and February data only other data information won't come into here this one okay so but when we are learning about structures structure is mainly used to fix the layout of the report okay second thing is when you creating a structure you can restrict your data how it it must come in your rows in this row I am expecting only to come January 2022 so that I restricted this uh, you know key particular row into with that cal you know uh, with that cal month for example, if you want to restrict this particular, you know, key figure with more, you can add more fields. For example, I am going to definition of this one. Apart from Cal month, I can add few more. I want data of only company code. Mm, company code. I am adding one more thing. Restrict with only company code U001. Select OK. OK. Save. Now, er earlier, you know if we see the existing output it is 599 because now I selected here let me come here insert data source you see now I got 128 you know only here here why I got 128 earlier it is 599 but now it is 128 why 128 so on the first report I am bringing company code into my rows when you are using structures you are the initial layout only you are making it fix whenever you do navigation like this bringing other fields into your rows automatically structure you know this space will be changed this is up to user intention because user intentionally added some other fields to the rows so that definitely then he is expecting the difference in the structure you know output size but initial size never change if we create structures in real time we have both kind of reports generally at finance reports and all they will give us one fixed format we always try to give for you know reports in that format 
and in other reports mostly they have you know dynamic like this based upon the data set the structure output will change now coming back to our point in the new report i restricted this january data not only with the cal month 01 but and also with the company code u001 so if i see my january information you see for u001 it is 128 so it is matching exactly with 128 so like this when you create structures you can restrict the rows with whatever selection you want and key figures you can keep it like this okay even key figures also you can create you know structure uh, here also you can create a structure but it's up to uh, for the requirement i'm not going to that part now okay uh, so just a second just one second recording so uh, next when only the initial structure only will be fixed with the uh, will be in fixed format but when user wants to drill down further on the report with different rows and columns you know he has to it will automatically modify for example now i am drilling down this uh, second report with the company code so what happens second it's coming why it is a hand okay you see now um now we need to understand okay when we are using structures and when we do drill down the report will come in a different way when compared to the normal report output generally when you drill down with someone it you know you see on the company code now in this particular report on the company code column these are whatever company codes are there they're continuously repeating for each column okay why because when you have structures it will behave in the same way whatever you add it will take the information for each row individually i added company code these are the total unique company codes from all of it and for each general for each row it is giving same kind of information and if data is available it is giving the data here you see d01 everywhere you can see five ones here now coming to the material let me drill down with material also you see total i have around four materials are there each and every structure you know each and every row again not every row but at least each january each structure uh, structure field are getting these four material numbers okay uh, when you add these free you know free characteristics next to the structure it will behave in this way only but you know it is little bit uh, not looking fine because you see there are some empty rows so what is the benefit of having these empty rows you know showing on the report in this way i am unnecessarily you know my structure output my report output was extending because of these empty rows so in this scenario what you can do how you can suppress these empty rows okay there is a property at report level if you click on the report main report name on this properties and you know design section here on the right hand side there are some options are there suppress zeros in the rows it means uh, you know this is nothing but row right if we have any row level zeros are there complete zeros not one or two okay uh, example i don't have any example here but if the entire if the entire row means all the key figures in this row are having zeros then this particular you know option will suppress those records you see now all the empty rows gone only that wherever i have data only those rows are coming here so when you have structures when you are drilling down like this when you're facing difficulty with the empty rows you have you can use this option to suppress those empty rows and next so now we are learning you know a little bit afo how to you do reporting when we have structures in our query this is the case in real time also you may face so you may, you must learn this one so here in my structure currently i am having four columns but you want to analyze only on one particular column you don't want to see all the four columns every time you want to do only analyze with one particular uh, you know element uh, here 